The way I started glass blowing was um, almost an accident, really. Uh, I met John, for one, in an art show, and I'm a painter, so I was showing my work, he was showing his. We were in Pasadena, and uh, I was totally enamored by his glass. We switched back and forth the whole year, and I would give him my paintings, he would give me his glass, and um, it was a great friendship. It wasn't very long before I really wanted to sit at the bench, and then it was no time at all before I thought, hmm, I'm putting all my time into this, I want to start showing my work. So I really did um, set about really intently discovering this thing we call hot glass. Then I've shown many, many pieces, but still learning, still um, making mistakes. But now I can actually have an art show every weekend if I want to. It's very, very satisfying because I've been doing it every day for 10 years. Other people go out and have a great old time, but my good time is really coming from the inside, so I'm busy working, working, working. Well, you know, a lot of people will look at our glass and they'll go, hmm, it reminds me of um, a painter, and they can't think of his name, it's Gustav Klimt. Because we're giving a romantic um, story on our pieces, a poetic expression in uh, our glass. So the reality is, I can make something beautiful.